Okay, so now let's go over um, an example which is an extension of um, hitting time equations. So suppose I have a bias coin and um, since it's biased it flips heads with probability so flips heads with probability two-thirds um, what is the probability that I get two heads before two tails So this type of problem can be solved with a similar approach um, to hitting time equations. So as with the hitting time equation question, um, let's first draw out the Markov chain. So we have a start node here. And this time we're going to make sure that um, our Markov chain you know, has the least number of nodes possible, but still able to capture all the information we need in this um, problem. So. So if we start out in our start node, we can either flip heads or tails. And we only care about, you know, flipping two heads. And, and if we're at a tails, uh, we care about flipping two tails. And then we have transition probability from heads to tails. If we like have a heads and then we flip tails, we transition here. And then if we just flip the tails and now flip a head, we transition to the head state. And now let's draw, um, write out our transition probabilities. So we flip heads with probability two thirds and tails with probability one third. And so the heads to tails transition is one third. Tails to heads transi transition is two thirds. Heads and getting like this transition means we got another heads, which is two thirds. And then this transition means we got another tails, which is one third. So essentially we're capturing, you know, our most recent like flips in this Markov chain. And we want the probability that we get two heads before two tails. So similar to hitting time equations where I defined um, beta of i, which was the expected number of steps until I reached a state. A state. Now I'm going to define alpha of i, which is the probability that I reach heads heads before tail tails if I start at state i. So off the bat, we know that alpha heads heads is 1, because if we're at the heads head state already, there's a 100% chance we're going to be here before tails tails. And likewise, alpha tails tails is going to be 0, because if we're at the tails tails state, there's a 0% chance we're going to reach heads heads before tails tails. And now we can just apply. Um, the same um, procedure as we did in the first step equations, we have alpha of heads, and this is just two-thirds alpha heads heads plus one-third alpha tails. And you notice um, how here we don't have a one plus in our equations, and this is because we're tracking probabilities rather than, so we're tracking probabilities Um, rather than um, counting the number of flips. So that's why we don't have like the one plus, right? The one plus was meant to tr keep track of the number of flips we did at each step, whereas here we do not um, need that. And alpha tails is going to be two thirds alpha heads plus one thirds alpha tails tails. And then finally, our star node is going to be two thirds alpha heads plus one third alpha tails. 
So as you can see, these equations look very similar to hitting time equations. And as I said um, in the beginning of this video, this type of problem is just an extension of that. And now let's try to uh, solve these hitting time equations. Our previous equations were alpha heads heads was 1, alpha tails tails was 0, alpha heads was 2 thirds alpha heads heads plus 1 third alpha tails, and alpha tails was 2 thirds alpha heads plus 1 third alpha tails tails and alpha s was just two-thirds alpha heads plus one-third alpha tails. So I can immediately plug in alpha heads heads equal to one into alpha heads. So alpha heads is going to be equal to two-thirds plus one-third alpha tails. And now I can plug in the definition of, I mean, the expression for alpha heads into alpha tails. So I'll get alpha tails is equal to two-thirds alpha heads, which is also two-thirds plus one-third alpha tails, and plus one-third alpha tails tails, and one-third alpha tails tails is just going to be zero, as alpha tails tails is zero. So therefore, alpha tails is four-ninths plus two-ninths alpha tails. We move this to the other side to get 7 over 9 alpha tails is 4 over 9. We solve and get alpha tails is 4 over 7. And we can plug this back into um, alpha heads over here to get that alpha heads is 2 thirds plus 1 thirds alpha tails which is just 4 sevenths and 2 thirds is 14 over 21 and this is 4 over 21 which is 18 over 21 which is also 6 over 7 and finally alpha s is just going to be 2 thirds alpha heads plus 1 third alpha tails which is equal to 2 thirds and we plug in um, what we got for alpha heads and alpha tails to get 2 thirds times 6 over 7 plus 1 third times 4 over 7 to get 16 over 21. And, and what this basically means is that, you know, if we have a bias coin with um, probability 2 thirds of flipping heads, there's a 16 over 21 chance that we get 2 heads before 2 tails. And that, um, you know, intuitively should make sense because your coin is biased. You're much more likely to get a sequence of heads than a sequence of tails.